Hi everyone, welcome to Cashwalks. We're in the fishing port of New Lynn in Cornwall and we found a really great multi geocache. It has a great story behind it about a small boat called the Rosebud. <laughs> it's very interesting, come along with us. The town of New Lynn is on the south coast of England in Cornwall. Our adventure starts near the boat harbour. We're having lunch in the Swordfish and remembered there was a multi geocache nearby. It's getting late, let's run down to find the first waypoint. Our GPS is pointing to the shop across the road near the red car. We're looking for a plaque but just can't see it. In desperation, I'm looking at metal plates in the footpath. <laughs> Time to sit and take things a little slower. Let's reread the cache description. A short multi taking you on a walk around the historic port of New Lynn to celebrate the voyage of PZ87 and her crew, without which you might today be walking around a very different New Lynn. This is the extraordinary story of how shortly before the Second World War the zeal of local authorities to improve housing standards led to a high-handed scheme to demolish the picturesque fishing villages of New Lynn and Mousehole and rebuild them as modern blocks of flats. This was resisted not only by the residents but also by the body of nationally famous artists who lived there. It led to a confrontation between the forces of bureaucracy and the, those of what would be, come to be called conservation. In 1937, the Rosebud, a Newland fishing boat, headed out of this harbour, past the lighthouse to journey around southern England and up the River Thames to London to deliver a petition to the government and thereby draw attention to the destruction of the fishermen's houses here in New Lynn. Fight the good fight with all thy might, Christ is thy strength and Christ thy right, was a hymn sung as the rosebud left New Lynn. I don't know what's happening to our GPS, but the plaque is 40 metres away on the right of this building. The plaque found, let's find the answers so we can get the coordinates to the second waypoint. Uh, clue to number two. On the slate, Memorial 1, how many men made up the crew? Okay, that's number A. That's the A. What was the fishing number of the Rosebud? That's easily answered. Got a little bit of walk to go. Off we go. The Rosebud's journey was partially successful, but demolition only fully halted with the advent of World War II. Newland is now a conservation area. Here's another PZ being hauled out of the water. We're climbing steeply up past the harbour. Have to cross over to get the little footpath again. There's not much room here. When those cars go by. Look the side of the footpath. Another nice pub here, the red line. Nice view from here, sitting out looking at the boat harbour, the fishing fleet. Yeah. Ooh. Dodging across <laughs> and trying to find room to get past, isn't it? Yeah. You're not going to get run over. You can't see round the corner. Oh, this is a nice wide footpath for five minutes. Right, it brought us to Rosebud Court. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh. Rosebud PZ87. This section of the hull of the Rosebud was placed here by Penworth Housing Association in October 2000. It was retrieved following removal of the remains of the vessel from the last resting place in, in Hale Estuary. Oh, I never. That's cool to see a bit of the hull. 
It is. We're to get the answers from the plaque on the right. Our new coordinates must be wrong, so they've taken us to a nice view, but are showing it's in a private house and far too close to another geocache. We're on our way again, having messaged the owner and checked our photos of the plaques to recalculate the numbers. With the new, more promising coordinates, let's look again for the cache. With the car parked, it's a nice walk along the cliff top towards Ground Zero. I'm going in as there are stinging nettles about. Okay, we're at the cache. Can you see it? It's quite well camoed. There it is. There's a really nice compass in the cache and um, the logbook is in a um, separate container to keep it dry, which is always a good feature. We like it when cache owners do that. But boy, that compass is really cool. Okay, it's on in the log. Just put the date, there we are, all done. Here's a very nice touch. The cache owner has put in a QR code, which tells you more about the rosebud. Excellent little added piece there. Makes for a great cache. Okay, found it. Just gotta be careful of stingy nettles here, especially as I've got shorts on. Ah, great cache. Really enjoyed that one. Well, we hope you enjoyed the story about the rosebud. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to go geocaching.